الحمد للہ حرب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بر حبت فلا The believers are brothers and sisters to one another. And all of that is confirmed and affirmed in the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. Even though we refuse to follow in the Book in the Sunnah in this regards, in regards to how we treat one another, in regards to our racism within our community, in regards to our hatred for one another, in regards to our breaking and splitting into groups and sects, in regards to our splitting and falling into Hezbiyah, even amongst Ahl Sunnah. However, the Prophet Wasallam said, as in the hadith on Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, anna nabiyyi sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. قال المسلم من سلم مسلمون من لسانه ويده والمهاجر من حجر ما نهى الله عنه متفق عليه ذا حديث البخاري المسلم in which the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said the muslim is the one who the Muslims are safe from his hand and his tongue. And so we see in this hadith already, the Prophet ﷺ gave utmost importance to preser- to preserving the honor of one another by not speaking ill about one another's honor and being quick to attack one another's honor and quick to belittle one another and quick to make tabdir of one another or tafsir or tikfir of one another. And that... This is the status of the mu'min. Because the Prophet wasallam is saying, he said, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, on Muslim. So letting us know that that's the Muslim haqiqi, that is the true Muslim, is the one who other believers, they are safe from his hand and his tongue. And then the Prophet alayhi salatu wasallam said, وَالْمَحَاجِرُ من حجر منها الله عنه and that the muhajir the one who makes hijra for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that one of the meanings this is as defined in the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam of the muhajir is that he is the one who makes hijra from sins from the things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala uh, prohibits and this is the meaning of taqwa Allah azza wa jalla this is the meaning of the mu'min this is where we should be in our iman and may Allah bless us with ilm, ilm al-nafi, rizkan tayyibu, amin al-muttaqabbin, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad.